Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, this is the second part of what if this star named our sun is replaced with other stars in our solar system. I mean, other stars in the Milky Way. So, currently our star is a G2V main sequence star, a yellow dwarf, and, it, and this star is the reason Earth has life, and you can see... Earth is thriving right now. Look at these city lights and everything. Earth is having life thanks to a beautiful sun. But what if the sun accidentally left? What if our solar system had a different type of star instead of the sun? Well, today I'm going to be showing you what happens if the sun got replaced with other stars in the Milky Way. So the last time we literally destroyed the solar system by putting Stevenson 218 and Ada Carine. If you want to watch that, you can click the card and it will show you the part 1. Alright, now today we're going to be replacing the sun with other stars as well and see what will actually happen to the Earth if the sun was different. So now, we're gonna be going into the sun and clicking on replace object, which allows you to replace the sun with something else. Now, the first star we're gonna be doing is Proicon B, which is a which is actually a very a white dwarf star. So let's see what happens if a white dwarf star was our sun. If our sun was a white dwarf star like Proicon B. This is a white dwarf. Now what will happen to the earth? And P.S. The sun is actually going to turn into a white dwarf 8 billion years from now. When the sun becomes a red giant. So it's going to happen. But what if it happened now? Earth is now going. Now we're about to completely start. And 3, 2, 1, go. You can see it's just 13 minutes a second, but nothing's changing that much except for the fact that Earth's light is almost practically gone at this point, being nights are going to be eternal right now because no light is coming. It looks like a rogue planet. You just see some small lights. For now, the temperature is negative 7, but as we speed up time, eventually Earth will start cooling down. And remember the coldest star from the first part, which was just a red dwarf? White dwarfs have a smaller habitable zone, and they're, and they're, very, they're less luminous. As you can see, if you turn off the orbits, uh, you can see the white dwarf is just not that visible. Speaking of this, the Earth is dropping down to 4 degrees right now. As you can see, Earth is Earth is just is now three degrees now. You can see slowly but surely the plants are slowly dying out. You can see some of the plants are dying, reach sub-zero temperatures, and you can see ice is starting to form on the continents now. Within a few day, within about 100 days, the Earth is now sl slowly covered in ice. The ESI of Earth is dropping down. The life likelihood is also decreasing as well as it went up at some point. You can see, right now, the continents are completely frozen over. The oceans are still liquid, but eventually, eventually they will lose water and slowly turn to ice. As we speed up time now, Earth's similarity index is, life likelihood is decreasing, meaning there's probably some subglacial life on Earth, on the continents. And you can see there are small amounts of ice crystals forming in the oceans right now. As the as slowly some ice is forming on the oceans, meaning the top layer is probably covered in ice, and the bottom layer is, is just ocean. But eventually that ice layer is going to get bigger and bigger. Within two months a second, I, the ice layer is getting bigger and bigger as, as Earth's ice and the oceans are slowly becoming visible. Earth's similarity has dropped down to below 70%. Earth's equator is completely covered in ice, but the, but the northern sections are still not covered yet, but eventually they're going to be covered soon. Right now, Earth is slowly turning from a very blue planet into a barren planet as time goes on. So now let's speed up time. Earth is almost turning into a, into like a ball of ice. You can see Earth has completely lost. Its life likelihood is dropping down, and... Here we go. Life likelihood has now dropped down to zero. Earth is now a, a cold, lifeless rock. So look at Earth right now. You can see Earth. 
we used to be blue. Look at how white it is now. The white dwarf really caused problems. Now, we're going to be doing another star in, in Proycon. Instead of a white dwarf star, imagine if the, if the sun suddenly lost its literal thing. We're going to replace the sun. With, instead of replacing the sun, we're going to make a brown dwarf. Which is why we're going to be... May, we are going to be changing some of the stuff to make it seem like a brown dwarf star. First, we're gonna be we're gonna be shifting the mass down to like to like to like seventy to about seventy five to be about seventy five Jupiters. The radius should be slightly higher to be like a like a brown dwarf. So let's and and put the surface temperature down to about one thousand degrees. And this is a this is what you get for a brown dwarf star. And if we slow if we turn on time, you can see it's a brown dwarf star now. And all the planets are completely orbiting this cold this absolute of a brown dwarf. See, this is a brown dwarf star. What happened how much light will Earth receive with this already cold object? And you can see there is a bug in Universe Animals where it just lights up in a random spot. Like right now it's probably lighting up in Uranus's orbit, but right now but theoretically brown dwarfs don't this brown dwarf specifically is not emitting light at all. I don't know why Earth is like this, but who cares? So now let's go and see what happens if the Earth it was replaced with a brown. Right now, no, nothing's gonna change with the Earth because we already replaced it with a white dwarf. So, so already, br the brown dwarf is like not really giving any light to the Earth at all. And you can see, as we even Mercury is completely frigid as well, and and even Venus keeping its thick atmosphere, and yet it actually is already cooling down to negative three. Meaning it's have definitely life is starting to evolve there, but just not seen. So as time goes on, Venus will eventually cool down. It's now cooling down about negative 100. It literally lost its atmosphere, and now it joins with the rest of the planets and being a completely frigid world. So that's a brown dwarf star, but luckily, instead of going colder, we're going to get hotter, literally. So now we're going to go and replace the sun with something else. Something that is another thing. Rather than white dwarfs, Ada Karine B is coming to town. It's a blue type main sequence star. Remember Ada Karine A? Well, Ada Karine A got its its companion to replace the sun. Are you ready, guys? Because you're gonna see that the habitable zone is completely just pushed straight out of here. So even Ada Karine A, which has a bad habitable zone, this one has a seriously worse habitable zone. So let's see what happens to the Earth. We know what happened to Ada Karine A with Earth, but we only saw it with Uranus and Neptune. What happens to the entire solar system with this in with this star in place? So now, if we auto orbit all of these, Earth. Instantly cuts hotter. It's 6,000 degrees. Mercury's gone. Mars has been destroyed. Venus and Earth are not are still getting boiled to death. And you can see this is just two days a second. If we speed up time, eventually other other planets will slowly get. Earth got destroyed, and now there's just the outer gas planets and Venus remaining. And Venus is still holding on. Eventually, Venus will slowly get. Venus got destroyed, meaning all the terrestrial planets are gone gone and meanwhile the and let's look at the other gas planets jupiter is torrid right now 3000 degrees saturn is 2000 degrees and getting hotter and hotter uranus is now one it's a thousand degrees now neptune is a thousand one hundred degrees and it queen and as we speed up time more the planets are gonna get so hot they're gonna get destroyed like the terrestrial planets so right now Ada Karina B is not doing that much. It's just it means that if Ada Karina B ever got into the solar system, despite being small enough to keep not swallow any other planets, it will still destroy all of the terrestrial planets, including our Earth. Meaning you won't be safe with Ada Karina B if you still think that you'll be safe with it, considering it's harsh Ada Karina A star. So that is some of the planets in our solar system. Now we have one more to go, and it'll be just a it will be a very, very, very a pulsar now. We're doing a pulsar. It's so small. What will happen with the pulsar and see what happens to the solar system if a pulsar suddenly took over the sun? 
So let's go and auto orbit all of the planets, and you can see what happens when a pulsar suddenly suddenly replaces the Earth, Imme Im the Sun. Immediately, Jupiter and the other planets are sl are cooling down at a, at a very slow rate because because of the effects of Eta Carinae B. And eventually, Jupiter will completely get frigid. You can see some orbital disruptions. Jupiter is slow is cooling down so much. So anyway. That concludes it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and bye-bye everyone.